Love in such a way that the person you love feels free. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, we hear 12 foolproof plans that indicate you're in a healthy relationship. Enjoy. Okay, and none of these are in any particular order. Number one, being in the relationship with a healthy person is not a constant battle. When you're with a healthy person, you're not trying to constantly make the relationship work as if it's so much work that there is no pleasure. Number two, nobody is playing any games. You're just being yourselves with each other. Number three, there's never any withholding of affection. We all know what it's like to be with a toxic person who punishes you with silence anytime you act out of accord with how they want or expect you to act. A healthy person accepts you as you are and doesn't punish you for being you or for noticing things or for bringing things up or for having emotions. You feel comfortable sharing with a healthy person knowing that they're not going to judge you or use your imperfections or mistakes in the past to hurt you in the future. You can disagree, which is a good sign. Sometimes we think, oh, the perfect relationship, they never argue, that's actually an unreality. You argue because you feel comfortable enough to disagree. You feel comfortable enough to share your viewpoint when it differs from the other person's. But with a healthy individual, there's resolve at the end of the disagreement. It doesn't just go on and on forever and then everyone just decides to not talk about it anymore in, a, in an effort to just move past it. No. In a healthy relationship, you talk about it, you work through it, you compromise, and you care about the other person's point of view. It's a healthy relationship if he or she doesn't text you back and your mind doesn't take over and drive you crazy with ruminating thoughts. In a healthy relationship, there's healthy, open communication. You listen to each other. You empathize with what the other is saying or what the other has been through. You care about what they're saying. It goes back and forth. It's not like one person is collecting information and going to use it against you in the future. And it's not like they're using communication to indirectly hurt you like covert narcissists. No, communication feels good with this person. You feel comfortable in your own skin and you also feel like you're receiving who this person really is. They're able to communicate with you as well. You don't hold grudges. Everyone gets upset. Everyone gets hurt. Everyone gets their feelings hurt. There are always misunderstandings, but you don't punish the person by holding a grudge and making it last forever or throwing it repeatedly in the other person's face. In a healthy relationship, you can have a life outside of the relationship. In toxic relationships, you seem to lose your outside life little by little until you're completely isolated with just this toxic person. With a healthy individual, you're allowed to have friends. You're allowed to enjoy time away from the person without being punished. You enjoy this time away. It gives you a chance to miss each other and come back and enjoy each other again. And no one feels threatened by the fact that they're that both of you have an outside life outside of the relationship. Speaking of being able to have a life outside of each other, you trust each other. When the other person is away, you're not constantly stalking them or wondering what they're doing or fearing that they're doing something that's going to hurt you. Healthy couples are able to spend time away from each other without worrying about where the person is or who they're with. Another sign of a healthy relationship is that you enjoy spending time together. When you're in a toxic relationship, you're so busy trying to make the other person happy that you don't even have time to think about whether or not you're happy. So if you're wondering if your relationship is healthy, pause and ask yourself a few questions. What's my favorite memory with this person? How often do we laugh together? Are we happier together or are we angry when we're together? How do I feel when I'm around this person? Does he or she bring me up or bring me down? Am I a better person because of this relationship? Am I happier because of this relationship? So in other words, 
put that focus back on you. Ask yourself these questions. And honestly, that is huge because if you're in a relationship with a toxic person, you probably never ask yourself that question. You're too busy ruminating and trying to please an unpleasable person. So pause. If you start focusing on you and how you feel, your gut instinct is always going to help guide you in the best way. It's always going to let you know what's good for you, what feels good, and what you really need. So start paying attention to your gut instinct because it really won't steer you wrong. In healthy relationships, you make decisions together. There's no dictatorship in the relationship, but rather important decisions are made together. Things are discussed. You feel as if your input is valued and valuable. And just one last way to be able to tell, and I kind of mentioned it before, but is if you can look at yourself and feel like you have become a better person as a result of the relationship. I know if you've been in a toxic relationship, most of the time we feel erased as if not only did we not become a better person, but as if we became someone we don't even recognize and sometimes didn't even like. So if you're in a relationship where this relationship inspires you, encourages you to be the best you that you can be, then you know you're in a good place. And if you don't have these things, don't settle for less. Don't make excuses like, oh, well, the person I'm with isn't quite like that, but it's because they had a rough childhood, or it's because they're still getting over this or that, or it's because they don't mean to be like that. They're just, they have a, you know, they have this problem or that problem. If you're excusing bad behavior, if you're excusing hurtful behavior, then you're lowering your value in your own eyes and sadly it's going to be lowered in the eyes of the person you have a relationship with. So raise your self value and raise your standards because you deserve to be with somebody that makes you happy and that obviously you can make happy as well. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled view the full video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.